Here we are, make yourself at home. Wow, so this is the place. Yep, this is the place. It was cheap, I'll tell you that much. So this is the, uh, the haunted house? Yeah, but it's not the haunted house. It's a haunted house. Wow. So, like, uh, have you seen anything here? Oh, I've seen things, felt things, heard things, you name it. Huh. So, what have you seen? Uh, let's see. Uh, ghosts, specters, apparitions, poltergeists, uh, demons, ghouls, yokai. Uh, one time I thought I saw a manticore, but I was really tired. It might not have actually been there. Wow, so, uh... This place is really haunted. Yep, it's, uh, it's pretty bad. Well, it's not a bad place. I mean, the show will be a lot better if you just redecorate it. <laughs> that is not going to happen. Anytime you try to move anything or throw anything away, its owner rises up and starts moaning and wailing and telling you to avenge them. Like I'm supposed to avenge them against cancer or something. Well, you can at least paint the walls. Oh, that is... that's not gonna work. Uh, before you can even get a full coat on, the walls start to bleed and then the blood mixes with the paint. It just... it... it doesn't work. Why don't you call, like, ghost hunters or something? I mean, those people must love this stuff. This is like a gold mine for them. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not gonna do that. I find that the more attention you pay to ghosts, the more they just scream and yell and throw things. Really? Yeah, I mean, as it is, the only way I really get any sleep at night is if I put a circle of salt around my bed, and then I sit there saying the same chant by candlelight over and over again for an hour. Otherwise, I just am up all night listening to all the screaming and the moaning and the wailing and the rattling and all that. Yikes. Say, can I put my coat in that closet? Oh, uh, yeah, not in, not in there. But why not? Because that's where Zorblok's Devourer of Souls lives. I am Zorblok's Devourer of Souls! See? Wow. So do you, do you know why this place is so haunted? Well, it was originally an Indian burial ground. Uh, then when the first European settlers came here, uh, a horse trampled three children, and they ended up burying the children here as well, uh, along with the horse, uh, after they shot it against the wishes of the parents, of course. Uh, after that, the ground was used to perform some pagan rituals, and then it was used as grounds to burn pagans and witches as well. Uh, then finally, during the Civil War, a house was built here, and all the slaves that built it were then shot and buried here as well, so that no one would know the location of the gold that was hidden here. Of course, ultimately, the family who lived here ended up uh, dying when the house burnt down to the ground, when the husband set it ablaze because he accused the wife of trying to steal his gold. Uh, it was then used as a gallows for a while, where they hung a lot of Indians and Chinese railroad workers who were uh, framed by the corrupt mayor, who uh, ended up dying here as well, when someone shoved a crucifix through his heart as he was trying to make a pact with the devil for immortality. Uh, after that, it was a shallow graveyard for a while, when they were burying new corpses on top of all the old corpses, uh, of course, they had to shut that down because of all the grave robbings. Uh, they then built another house here, which was quickly destroyed after a small passenger plane crashed into it, uh, killing about 40-plus people along with the family of nine or so gypsies who were living here. Uh, finally, this house was built uh, in uh, about the, uh, the 50s and uh, it was funded by a German architect whose wealth dates back to Nazi gold, and they've since filmed a couple of Old Navy commercials inside the house and in the front yard as well. Wow. How do you know so much about this house? 
Oh, it's all on this printout that I have of the Wikipedia article of this house, which the realtor gave me just after I signed the lease. So I hate that guy. Huh. So, uh, can I use your bathroom? Yeah, just uh, make sure you use the downstairs toilet because the upstairs toilet is a portal to hell, and if you flush it, you go to hell. Thank you.